Here are 30 most commonly asked interview questions and detailed answers. Related to inventory management in SAP MM Materials Management Interviews. 1. What is inventory management in SAP MM? Answer. Inventory management in SAP MM involves the efficient management and tracking of goods and materials within an organization, encompassing processes such as goods receipt, goods issue, and stock transfers. 2. Explain the significance of goods receipt GR in inventory management. Answer. Goods receipt is the process of acknowledging the receipt of goods into the warehouse or inventory. It involves updating the stock quantity and relevant documents in the system. 3. What are the key documents used in goods receipt? Answer. Key documents include purchase order PO, goods receipt document GR document, and material document which record the details of received goods. 4. How is goods receipt processed in SAP? MM? Answer. Goods receipt can be processed using the transaction code MIGO goods movement or through automated processes like ED electronic data interchange for inbound deliveries. 5. Explain the purpose of a material document in goods receipt. Answer. The material document is a record in SAP MM that documents all material movements, including goods receipt. It provides a comprehensive view of the stock changes and associated details. 6. What is the role of goods issue in inventory management? Answer. Goods issue involves the removal of materials from the inventory. It is triggered by processes such as sales, consumption, or stock transfers. 7. How is goods issue processed in SAP? MM? Answer. Goods issue can be processed using transaction code, MIGO, or through automated processes like deliveries for sales orders. 8. Explain the concept of stock transfer in inventory management. Answer. Stock transfer involves the movement of materials from one storage location to another within the same plant or between different plants. It is facilitated by stock transport order STO. 9. What is a reservation in SAP, MM, and how is it created? Answer. A reservation is a request for the future goods issue of a certain quantity of materials. It is created using transaction code M21 or can be automatically generated from other SAP modules. 10. How do you cancel a goods receipt in SAP, MM? Answer. Goods receipt can be canceled using transaction code MST, cancel material document. The original goods receipt document is reversed, and stock quantities are adjusted accordingly. 11. Explain the concept of batch management in SAP M. Answer. Batch management involves the management of materials in batches, allowing traceability of products back to their production or procurement source. It is crucial for industries with strict quality control requirements. 12. How is batch management activated for a material in SAP? MM? Answer. Batch management is activated in the material master record by setting the batch management indicator. It can be done in the purchasing view or the plant data storage to view. 13. What is the purpose of the shelf life in batch management? Answer. Shelf life indicates the period during which a material is expected to remain usable. It is assigned to batches and is crucial for managing the expiration of products. 14. Explain the use of physical inventory in SAP M. Answer. Physical inventory is the process of verifying the actual stock levels in the warehouse against the recorded levels in the system. It ensures accuracy and integrity in inventory data. 15. How is physical inventory count managed in SAP MM? Answer. Physical inventory count is managed using transaction codes like MIO1, create physical inventory document, MIO4, enter inventory count, and MIO7, post inventory count. 16. What is cycle counting, and how does it differ from periodic physical inventory? Answer. Cycle counting is a continuous and systematic counting of a subset of inventory items. 
Whereas periodic physical inventory involves counting all items at specific intervals, cycle counting aims to maintain accuracy throughout the year. 17. How is negative stock handled in SAP MM? Answer. Negative stock is allowed in SAP MM under certain circumstances, such as goods issue postings exceeding the available stock. It is crucial to monitor and rectify negative stock situations promptly. 18. Explain the concept of split valuation in SAP M. Answer. Split valuation allows materials to be valuated differently based on certain criteria, such as batch, location, or quality. It enables more accurate and detailed financial reporting. 19. How do you perform a stock transfer between plants in SAP? MM? Answer. Stock transfer between plants is carried out using stock transport orders STO and can be initiated through transaction code ME21N, create purchase order, and subsequent goods movement transactions. 20. What is the purpose of the stock overview in SAP? MM? Answer. Stock overview provides a consolidated view of stock quantities, values, and locations. It can be accessed using transaction code MB, stock overview, and helps in monitoring and managing inventory. 21. How do you handle unrestricted stock, quality inspection stock, and block stock in SAP? MM? Answer. These stock types are managed based on the material status. Unrestricted stock is available for use, quality inspection, stock is subject to inspection, and block stock is not available for use. 22. Explain the role of the reservation list in SAP M. Answer. The reservation list provides an overview of all reservations in the system. It can be accessed using transaction code M24 reservation list and helps in monitoring and managing reservations. 23. What is the purpose of the availability check in SAP? MM? Answer. Availability check ensures that the requested quantity of materials is available before processing transactions like sales orders or reservations. It helps prevent issues related to stock shortages. 24. How is consignment stock managed in SAP? MM? Answer. Consignment stock is managed through a special stock type. The supplier retains ownership until the material is withdrawn. Transaction code M1C Other goods movement is used for consignment issues. 25. Explain the concept of ABC analysis in inventory management. Answer. ABC analysis classifies materials into categories A, B, and C based on their value or importance. A represents high-value items. B represents medium value items, and C represents low value items. 26. How is ABC analysis useful for inventory planning and control? Answer. ABC analysis helps prioritize inventory management efforts. Category items may receive more attention due to their higher value, while category C items may have less stringent control measures. 27. What is the significance of the dead stock indicator in SAP? MM? Answer. The dead stock indicator is used to identify materials with no consumption or movement over a specified period. It helps in identifying obsolete or slow-moving items. 28. Explain the concept of special stock in SAP M. Answer. Special stock represents materials that are not company-owned or are managed differently. Examples include consignment stock, project stock, or stock in transit. 29. How is the FIFO first in first out principle applied in inventory management? Answer. The FIFO principle ensures that materials received first are consumed first. It is applied in inventory management to maintain a chronological order of stock movements. 30. What are the considerations for inventory management in a warehouse with handling units? Answer. Handling units in SAP WM Warehouse Management enable the tracking and management of materials using packaging units. Integration with inventory management ensures accurate stock movements and visibility. These questions and answers provide insights into key aspects of inventory management in SAP. MM.
covering processes such as goods receipt, goods issue, stock transfers, batch management, physical inventory, and specialized inventory types. Interviewers may tailor questions based on specific project requirements or the candidate's experience level. For more exciting tips, tricks and more importantly, for valuable insights of interviews, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. It has a lot of valuable information about various insights of interviews. It has a wide range of real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for interviews, and it has wide range of most asked interview questions and answers of various technologies like data science, SAP, AWS, DevOps, and full-stack web development, and more. That will be useful during interviews. It has a wide range of most asked interview questions and answers, and real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for freshers. For two to three years, experienced candidates, and for five or above years, experienced candidates to test their skills by knowing most. Asked interview questions and make themselves ready for interviews.